as usual, I invite you to take what you want, add on if you need more, leave anything out that isn't working for you. But we are going to cruise through a pretty flowy vinyasa flow, as always, set to the breath. And I'll add some more challenging options for the second round of this flow. But since you will have already done it once, you're welcome to stick with, with what you've got. Or to add anything, extra handstands, press-ups, make your own. So let's get started seated in any comfortable seated position. As soon as you sit down, let your eyes flutter shut if that works for you. And as soon as they close, start to deepen the breath. And with those deepening breaths, start to move any way the body wants to take you. For me, that's often just a subtle sway side to side as I start to really feel into what's happening right now. To let the day fall away. To let emotions clear, to-do lists, to dissipate. And upon these long, deep breaths, you might take a few rolls of the head. Even a lateral stretch if it feels good to reach one arm up overhead and then the other, both at the same time, whatever you desire. And if anything catches you by surprise, any intrigue, any curiosity, I challenge you to indulge it, to just go ahead and try. With your next inhalation, bring your left hand to cover your heart. Spread your fingers, add a little pressure. As you exhale, the right hand covers it. Feel the inhalation, fill the lungs, expand through the rib cage. The chest presses into the palms, the extension of your heart chakra. As you exhale, the breath is released. The weight and warmth of the hands gently comforts what lies beneath them. Another full breath. So expansive, the skin around the torso stretches. Exhale. Everything softly contracts like a hug of the body in toward the spine. Another deep, deep breath in here. Feel the heart press into the palms. As you exhale, lower the palms down to the knees. Let the fingers wrap over the edges. The tip of the thumb unites with the tip of the forefinger in Jana Mudra for just a bit of further grounding. And from the ground, draw the next inhalation up into the belly. Feel that heart space expand. Maybe the shoulders roll back a touch as the neck lengthens and the crown of the head lifts a little bit higher. Now you choose through the nostrils or a wide open mouth to let the exhalation out. As it does, the shoulders melt even further away from the ears, elbows loosen, maybe the hips do as well. The awareness presses beyond the mat into the roots. 
from which the next inhale rises up into the spinal column, lifting each vertebrae a little higher than the last. Might feel as though the back of the skull rises into the space above you. The whole body lightens as it lengthens. And again, through nose or mouth, complete exhalation flows. The chest gets a little concave. The abdominal wall draws in, squeezing out any lingering breath. As you consciously press the awareness, use that internal gaze, the drishti looking down to accentuate that motion into the earth, into your roots, your anchor. From way beneath you, one more nourishing inhalation effortlessly flows up through the central energy channel. Your whole being gets even lighter, even longer. As the exhalation washes back down again, take the hands behind the back, interlace them. With the inhale, lift the heart. The chin can rise if that feels okay on your neck. The clasped hands might meet the mat behind you. With your exhale, bring the chin back down, lengthening the neck. Bring the fist over to your right side. Let the right elbow point out to the right. With an inhalation, just pause. You might pump that elbow slightly forward if it feels good on the shoulder. With the exhale, squeeze it back. Another long inhalation. Can you feel yourself grow upon your axis? Stay right here or with the exhale, you can dip the right ear toward the right shoulder. One more breath in and out. With the inhale, extend the clasped hands back behind you, lift through the heart. Gaze follows if that feels nice. With the exhale, draw the clasp over to the left. Inhaling, that left elbow points out to the side. With the exhale, squeeze it back, really unite the palms, scrunch the fingers. An inhalation rolls up. And as the exhale flows down, you've got the option to drop left ear toward left shoulder. One more deep breath here in and out. With the inhale, again, take the clasp behind you. Feel the heart open, chest broaden. And with the exhale, release the clasp. Crawl the fingertips out in front of you as far as they can comfortably go. Let it be a sway from right to left as you go. That often helps find a little more spaciousness in the lower back, across the abdomen. Let the chin fall toward the chest. And with your inhale, lift ever so slightly onto the fingertips, just feeling a little buoyancy. As you exhale, you might melt a little closer to the earth, a little press into the fingertips to send the sit bones back down toward your mat. Again here, inhale, lifting just slightly if you like. And exhale, maybe melting a little lower. One more time, breathe in. And out. As you inhale, walk the hands in toward the body about halfway until you can flatten the palms with the fingers spread wide. With your exhalation, roll over the knees into tabletop position. And add another sway right to left as you strike an equilibrium between the two physical sides of the body. The energetic follow suit. With your next inhalation, come to pretty still, pretty neutral. Ground into the fingertips, spread your toes wide apart. With the inhalation, the belly dips into your first cow pose, probably not your deepest one. The heart shines forward. 
tailbone points up. And with the exhale, around the opposite direction into your cat. As you inhale, dive back into your cow pose, leading with the crown of the head. Maybe a little deeper than last time. The shoulders can draw back if you'd like. The gaze can lift up high. And with the exhale, curl all the way into cat. The belly squeezes up toward the spine. The space between the blades opens up. With the inhale, one more cow pose. Now opening up through the front of the heart. Exhale, neutral spine. As you inhale, tuck your toes under. Lift your knees off the earth. And with the exhale, press into downward facing dog. As the hips lift, the head goes heavy. You begin to move any way that feels good. Let it be intuitive. Let the body receive what it needs, likely pending on what you've been doing today. If you've been sitting a lot or walking a lot, just notice what the hips and the hamstrings feel like. It might feel good to drop the heels right to left or even to cross the right leg behind the left in a deep curtsy shape. The other side. Maybe to flip the feet one at a time to roll across the knuckles of the toe. And if you're adding a sway side to side or a strut through the feet, try taking it into the hands as well. Maybe lifting up onto the fingertips of the left hand as the left knee bends. Next, inhale, rise up onto your toes. And as you exhale, drop the heels over to the right. Inhaling, lift into down dog, right leg to the sky. Stay here. Or with the exhale, you might bend the standing knee even take a few hops off that foot if you want to play a bit. And with your next exhalation, lower the right foot back down to meet left. And inhale lifts you way up onto your toes as if the hips were being pulled into the sky. The exhale, smush the heels over to the left, ground into both hands. Inhale for down dog, left leg lifts, toes spread. Stay and breathe, maybe leaning into the right hand, or maybe taking a few hops up off that standing foot, just barely off the mat or way up high. With the next exhalation, as you lower the left foot, take a tiny step forward. With the inhale, the right foot steps up. Exhale, the left foot comes a little closer to the hands, maybe meeting them now. Then inhale, the right foot joins it about hips width distance apart. With the exhale, just let the head go heavy, let the knees bend a little. Then an inhale, lifts the body up to parallel with the earth, the arms reach out to the sides like wings. Exhaling, fold. Swipe the fingertips across the mat. Take hands to clasp opposite elbows. And then here, continue to breathe. <coughs> Choosing stillness. Or a sway upon the breath. You might make this a dynamic sway. Maybe using the hands to draw the forearms a little closer to the earth. Maybe tracing a figure eight. Hmm. With your next exhalation, release the elbows. Soft bend in the knees. And an inhale to roll up to stand, as if this breath was causing your ascent. 
Now the legs start to straighten, the spinal lines, the head stacks on top. With an exhale, the shoulders roll back in the sockets. As you inhale, reach up to the sky. And with the exhale, sweep the arms back down to interlace at the sacrum. Inhaling, extend that clasp back, lift up through the heart. And with the exhale, just like we did seated, bring the clasp over to the right side. Inhaling, right elbow points to the right. With the exhale, squeeze it back. Breathe in and out. Maybe you drop right ear toward right shoulder. With an inhale, take that clasp way back behind you. Lift through the heart, lift the gaze if it feels good. And with the exhale, even out the spine as the clasp moves over to the left. So you're really using the left hand to draw the right one over. Inhale, left elbow points way out. With the exhale, squeeze back. Breathe in and out. Left ear can drop to the left. With an inhale, extend the clasp back. Rise up through the crown. And with the exhale, release into Tadasana. Drop your eyes closed. Just one full round of breath here as you scan from the toes up the legs, through the trunk, out the crown. And with the exhale, the awareness washes back down again. Inhale and we'll reach up. Right hand grips, left wrists and lifts it a little higher. With the exhale, take that over to the right as the hips press left. Inhale, and we'll rise up to stand fully even out. Flip your grip. And with the exhale, left hand draws right overhead. Breathe in, lift up, press the palms together. As you breathe out, Fold all the way down into Uttanasana. Head and arms go heavy, knees softly bend. With your inhale, roll up to stand. Exhaling, shoulders circle back. The inhale, reach outward and up. Palms unite in the sky, stay. As you exhale, bend the elbows so that prayer drops down to the back of the heart. And with an inhale, you might lean the head back into the forearms. With an exhale, flip that prayer to the front, fold. Palms to the shins, heavy head. Inhaling, press into the shins to lengthen, tailbone through crown. As you fold with the exhale, just let the hands slide down to the tops of the feet. And with your inhale, roll up once more here. Exhale, and the shoulders circle back. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Can you take it a little higher? With the exhale, pour yourself down into Uttanasana, hands to legs or fingers to the mat. The inhale, spine lengthens, lift halfway. As you exhale, step the left foot back into a lunge. All right, inhaling. Right arm reaches up, so you're twisting open to the right. With the exhale, you're going to sweep that right arm beneath the right knee. Make a fist with the hand. Pull up so the spine rounds like cat. As you inhale, let the hips sink a little. Reach the right arm back up high. With the exhale, same thing. Give that right leg a hug. Pull up, round the spine. Inhale, one more round, reach the right arm up high, let the hips sink low. And with the exhale, hug and round, press into the back toes. Inhaling, we'll reach up, open up. Exhale into plank pose. As you inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. Exhaling, lower the knees. Chest and chin to the earth. With an inhale, slide into a low cobra, elbows in. The exhale cushions your descent to the mat. Slide the legs a little further back. With an inhale, peel up into a second cobra. 
as you exhale, lower down to the mat. One more time, inhale as you rise up to Bhujangasana, and exhale carries you down to earth. Inhale, tabletop, toes tuck. Exhale into downward facing dog. With your inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhale and the heels drop to the right. Bend your knees if it feels good. Smooth inhale brings you through down dog, hips even out, right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bend your knee, open up the hip. Pause here, circle the ankle as you breathe in. Maybe you even lift up onto the right fingertips, kind of hovering. And with the exhale, modified plank, right knee toward right elbow. Pause here, inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna wind the right knee over the left, kind of like eagle. Feel free to stay here. Or with your inhalation, roll to the instep of the left foot. Option to reach the left arm up for a modified side plank. Stay. Or if you're in this side plank, with the exhale, you can slide that right ankle down on top of the left, so you're kind of lounging. One more inhale, wherever you are. With the exhale, turbo plank, left hand to the earth, right knee to the nose. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhaling, step forward. Have some space between the feet, about hips width distance. As you inhale, reach up both arms so profoundly the right knee straightens. And with the exhale, sink back down into your crescent lunge. Inhale here. Maybe a little lift with the breath. With the exhale, you might sink just a touch lower. Inhale, if you draw the right hip back a bit. With the exhale, if you press the left thigh forward a touch. As you inhale, again straighten the right knee. Slowly pivot all the way around to face the back of the mat. And with your exhale, warrior two, left knee bends, arms parallel with the earth. Breathe in. Let the shoulders soften. Let the fingers reach in opposite directions. Breathe out. Maybe you deepen your bend. Another full breath here in. If you rise a little or take a gentle sway with the arms, just feeling out where you are in space. Exhale. One more inhale here. Set the drishti, the gaze, out over the left fingertips. As you exhale, flip that left palm in your line of vision. Inhale to reverse warrior. Right hand to the back of the right leg, left hand to the sky. With the exhale, glide through warrior two into side angle. Left elbow to left knee. Right arm up alongside the right ear. A big inhalation rolls from the right toes up the leg through the side, out the fingers in the sky. Exhale, washes down the left side. Another full breath in here. Maybe lift the gaze up beneath that right shoulder. Exhale, the feet root even deeper. With your next inhalation, we're cartwheeling up through the center, pivot back around to face the front of the mat. With the exhale, the hands surround the right foot, right knee bends, so you're facing the front of the mat again. As you inhale, lift the left leg, any amount towards standing split. The toes can just hover off the mat or they can lift way into the sky. Breathe in. And with the exhalation, option to just lower the left foot down beside right, or draw the left knee in toward the chest. Sink the hips low and take a ninja kick of the left leg forward. 
and then draw it back into your forward fold, top of the mat. As you inhale, lift up about halfway, arms reach out to the sides. With the exhale, fold, bend the knees, wrap the arms around the legs. Deep breath in here. With the exhale, release your hug, just hang out. As you inhale, roll up to stand. Exhaling the shoulders, circle back. In Tadasana. Follow the inhalation from the roots through the soles all the way up the full length of you. Feel the crown rise a little higher. The exhale cascades back down over the shoulders, through the fingertips, beyond the legs and to the roots. Breathe in. And out. One more round of breath. Do you need a circle of the head or the wrists or the hips? With your next inhalation, reach up overhead. Interlace all the fingers, flip the palms to face the sky. As you exhale, send them over to the left as the hips press right. Inhale to rise up, even out. Press through the thumb side of your hand. With the exhale, Take it the other way. Inhale to lift up, flatten the palms together. With the exhale, bend the elbows for that tricep release. One deep breath in, maybe a lift of the head. And with the exhale, fold into Uttanasana, let it go. Inhaling, spine lengthens for Ida Uttanasana. With the exhale, right foot steps back into your deep lunge. Inhale, and the left fingers reach up like you're unzipping the side. With the exhale, thread that left hand beneath the left knee, then make a fist pull up. As you inhale, sink the hips down, reach the left hand to the sky, palm open wide. With the exhale, go for that hug, fist rounding through the spine. Inhale to open up. Exhale, one more hug down. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale into plank. As you inhale, shift to the tips of the toes. See the elbows stack over the wrists. The exhale, lower the knees. About a 90 degree bend at the most for a half chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. With the exhale, melt down to earth. Let the forehead rest. Let the legs slide back. And inhale to peel up, second one. Shoulders low. Exhale, whole body reunites with the floor. One more time, inhale to peel up. And exhale to melt down. Inhale, tabletop, toes tuck. Exhale, downward facing dog, heavy head. Inhale, up onto your toes. The exhale, heels drop to the left. Knees can bend as you press firmly through both hands. Inhale is down dog, left leg to the sky. The exhale, knee bends, hip opens. Maybe you lift onto the left fingertips. Breathe in, circle of that left ankle. As you breathe out, come into your plank, left knee to left elbow, pause for an inhalation that might make you pulse slightly up. With the exhale, left knee wraps over right where you can stay. Or with the inhale, roll to the instep of the right foot. Maybe the right arm reaches up for your modified Vashistasana. The exhale, the option to slide that left ankle down to meet right. One more breath in, wherever you've chosen. With the exhale, turbo plank. Right hand to the mat, left knee to the nose. Inhale into your three-legged dog, get long. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Open up some space between the feet. With the inhale, reach up, straighten the left knee. The exhale, 
settle down into your Anjaneyasana. And here we'll breathe in, maybe adjusting a touch or experimenting with where you are. Breathe out, noticing how you're being now. Are you clenching the jaw or squeezing the shoulders up? Can you let anything go with the next exhalation? One more round of breath here. Maybe you cuddle the space up above with the palms. Exhale. With your inhale, straighten the left knee. Engage the whole trunk as you pivot to face the back of the mat. And with the exhale, open into your warrior two. So it's the right knee that's forward, that's bent. With the inhalation, allow a little adjustment. Feel out where you are. And with the exhale, settle in. Breathe in. And out, feeling your own strength, your own balance. And as you inhale, send the drishti out over the right fingertips. The exhale, flip the palm skyward. Inhale for reverse warrior, right fingers comb through the sky. And with the exhale, they carry you into side angle pose. All awareness in the back foot, the left toes. Draw the inhale from there all the way up the left side of you. Can you reach any further through those fingers in the sky? The inhale, you might slightly tuck the hips under or lift the gaze up. And exhale. One more round of breath. If the elbow's on the knee, maybe you gently press forward. And with your next inhale, we're rising, dancing with the breath up through the center, around to face the front of the mat. The exhale, the hands cartwheel down to surround the left foot. And with the inhale, the right leg launches in your mat towards standing and split. With your exhalation, just lower the right foot or draw the knee in, sink the hips low, take that one ninja kick forward. And then land in your forward fold, feet hips width distance apart. Peace fingers and thumbs, grip the big toes. As you inhale, pull up on your toes, gaining length through the whole torso. With the exhale, power up the biceps, squeeze the body down toward the legs, crown magnetized toward the back. For about three breaths here, you choose Beautiful stillness, just the breath rolling through you. Or you might move with the breath, rising with the inhales, lowering with the exhales, or maybe discovering something new. What happens if you sway from right to left while pulling up on the toes? One more breath in Pada Gustasana. With the exhale, release your toes. Soft or deep bend in the knees. And an inhale to roll up to stand. Feel free to wiggle the shoulders if it feels good to loosen up. With the exhale, roll them back in the sockets. Lean into the left foot. Inhaling, the right foot rises for tree pose. Let it land wherever it naturally wants to against the leg. Lock the drishti onto a stable point ahead. And with an inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Right hand grips left wrist and lifts it a little higher. That's enough. Or with the exhale, you can go for the lateral stretch, leaning the hands to the right, the hips to the left. With an inhale, lift. As you do, slide the right palm to meet the left. With an exhale, pull the hands past the head to the heart. Press the right foot down to the earth and take a sway from right foot to left. Back again and center. One deep breath in Samastayihi. With an exhale, again, fold. This time, bend the knees. You can slide the hands beneath the feet for Padahastasana. 
As you inhale, pull up on your feet. You might take a little wiggle of the hips or the heart to see if you can snuggle the, or the chest to the thighs. Through the exhale, the feet press into the hands. The head goes heavy. And now again, you choose stillness or motion. If in motion, is it a rise and fall? Or a sway right to left? Or heels to toes? Maybe you bend one knee at a time. Maybe you shine a circle or figure eight through the crown onto the mat between the feet. What can you discover here? Maybe some opening through the back of the heart. A closing of the space between the lower abdomen and the upper thighs. One more breath in. The exhale, release the hands. Bend the knees just a bit or all the way into a little squat if you'd like. With your inhale, roll up. Circle the wrists. Twinkle the fingers. With your exhale, roll the shoulders back. Press into the right foot. An inhale brings the left foot up for Vrikshasana. The exhale, feel yourself ground through the standing foot, hips even out. Inhale and the arms sweep out and up. This time the left hand grips the right wrist and lifts it. With the exhale, that optional lean. And an inhale to straighten up. Left hand meets right. The exhale, hands to heart. Left foot to the earth. Samastaihi, one deep breath in. Heart rises up to meet the thumb. With the exhale, shoulders soften, arms drop to the sides, the weight lands in the heels. Just one more round of breath here. Press into your toes as it rises up through the front of the body. Follow the exhalation back down. With your inhale, reach up, interlace all but the index fingers and then point even higher. The exhale, point them to the right as the hips press left. Use the right hand to draw the left overhead. Inhale and left hand lifts right back up to the sky. Exhale, other way, feel the whole body unite. Inhale to rise up, if you'd like, bend the elbows. And with the exhale, fold. Inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, left foot steps back. Inhale, right fingers to the sky. And with the exhale, just one hug, right arm beneath right knee. Inhale, and we open up. Exhale, straight into a half or a full chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, into down dog. As you inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhale and the heels drop to the right. Knees can bend. Left arm can reach up overhead. You might even grip the head with the left hand. With the inhale, down dog, right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bend the knee, stay, hover, or flip all the way over for one deep breath in. With the exhale, plank. Right knee to right elbow, pause for an inhale, a little pulse up higher. With the exhale, wrap right knee over left, stay. Or with the inhale, roll into your modified Vashistasana, stay. Or with the exhale, right leg straightens down or kicks out to the side. One breath in. Exhale, turbo plank, knee to nose. Inhale, right toes to the sky. Exhaling, step forward. Inhale, arms reach up so dynamically the right knee straightens. With the exhale, sink back into Anjaneyasana. Inhale, straighten. 
Turn to face the back of the mat. Exhale, Viravajrasana 2. Inhale, Reverse Warrior. Exhale into extended side angle or a bind if you'd like. We'll stay for one full breath in. A complete breath out. With the inhale, we're cartwheeling up. Pivoting back around to face the front of the mat. Then exhale, the hands surround the right foot. Inhale, left leg lifts. Now with the exhale, you can stay. You can use one hand or both to clasp the standing ankle. Option to bend the left knee, maybe right hand reaches up for the foot. Or even to take a few hops toward handstand. If you're bound, then chapasana. Press the foot into the hand to get a lift through the heart. And with the next exhalation, we're releasing into your forward fold or one quick ninja kick. And then we meet both feet on the earth, head reaching toward the mat. As you inhale, the spine lengthens. Reach the arms out like wings. With the exhale, hug the legs. Bend the knees, maybe really deeply, sitting onto the forearms for a little myofascial release. Next inhale, start to straighten the legs. Let your hug go. The exhale, soften the knees. And with your inhale, roll up to stand. Exhale, and the shoulders circle back. In Tadasana, one round of breath. If you need a sway from foot to foot, circle of the head or the hips. And with your inhale, reach up. Interlace all the fingers, drop them back to cradle the head. As you exhale, Hinge to the left as the hips press right. Inhale brings you upright. And exhale to the other side. Inhale, straighten up. Reach up if you'd like from the elbows. And with the exhale, tip down into your forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale. Right foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale, left fingers to the sky, heart opens. Exhale, left hand threads beneath the knee, round the spine. Inhale to open it up. Exhale into chaturanga of your choice. Inhale, Erdva Mukha Svanasana. And exhale, Adho Mukha. With the inhale, lift up onto your toes. Exhale, lean heels press to the left. Feel free to bend the knees or lift the right arm. Inhale for down dog, left leg to the sky. Press through the big toe. The exhale, bend the knee. Hover or flip all the way over. When huge inhale rolls through you, you roll with the exhale into plank, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, and you might lift a little higher. The exhale, left knee over right. Inhale, Vashistasana once more if you like. Exhale, left knee straightens down or out. One inhale. Exhale, gently right hand to the mat, left knee to the nose. And inhale, spine lengthens, left leg lifts. Exhale as you step forward. Inhale, big reach up, left knee straightens up. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten up, find your balance. Pivot to face the back of the mat. And exhale, Viravajrasana 2. Inhale as your reverse warrior. Feel all that length through the right side. Take it with you as you exhale into your side angle pose. Big breath in. 
full release. And then inhale to lift you up. Turn to face the front of the mat. Exhale, hands around the left foot. And inhale, the right one kicks to the sky. And here, choose your poison. Standing split, chapasana. Maybe a few handstand hops. For one more full breath in. And exhale into Uttanasana or your last ninja kick. In your forward fold, breathe in. Lift about halfway up. With your exhale, melt down over the legs, soft bend in the knees. And inhale to roll up to stand. With the exhale, shoulders circle back. In Tadasana, let your eyes drop closed. Follow the next inhalation from the roots through the soles, up the legs, trunk fills, crown rises. Open up your mouth. Sigh the exhale away. One more round of breath. And an inhale to reach up. Unite the palms. With the exhale, let the hands track down the spine. Inhale, maybe the head lifts a little higher. With the exhale, step the left foot way back. Take a quarter turn to your left, so you're sideways on your mat. With the inhale, send the hands out to the sides, high fives. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, reach through the heart as you bow into Prasarita Padottanasana. Traditional A variation, the hands in line with the feet, or feel free to vary, crawling the fingertips forward or back between the legs even floating the legs up to the sky. Stillness with the spine decompressing. We might bring back in a sway right to left, even a bend of the knees. Plant the palms on the earth, right along that left edge of the mat. As you inhale, press into them, find some length. The exhale, bend the left knee. So you're still sideways on the mat, lunging toward the back. You can keep the hips high or sink them low for a full skandhasana. Maybe even flex the right toes up. And here again, you choose what to do with the hands. Anjali mudra, crawl forward or big reach out are up for one more breath with the exhale we'll switch sides crawl or float your way through the center as the left knee straightens the right bends you might do the same as you did on the other side or it might be different here breathe in stay low with the exhalation returning to face the front of the mat Landing right in pigeon pose. Right knee bent. A short hold, feel free to drop right in. Or to experiment a bit, maybe with tucking the left toes under, using them to walk that whole leg a little further back. Bringing the right heel in toward the body will alleviate a little bit of the stretch in the hip. Crawling it away brings more. Might feel good to bring the left hand to the right knee for a little twist. And if you're still up with an inhale, consider lifting up a little higher, getting super long from the pubic bone all the way through the belly, up the chest, through the throat, up the crown. And with the exhalation, start to lower down. Any amount might be just the gaze. 
You might come onto the forearms. You can stretch the arms back or reach them forward. Find stillness or stay in motion, pending what you need, what you want, how you feel now. But just one more deep, deep inhalation expands from the heart to the sternum, all the way around the sides of the rib cage to the back. And as you exhale, place the palms just beneath the chest. With an inhale, use them to walk yourself upright. As you exhale, gentle tip to the right. Bring that left leg forward, bend the knee. The souls unite in Baddha Konasana. You can have the heels in tight, traditional pose, or further away. Maybe use the thumbs to massage the insteps and then open the feet up. With an inhale, feel the heart lifted as if from above. And with the exhale, Slowly lower down in the Baddha Konasana. One full breath in here. Maybe you use the elbows to encourage the knees more out than down. The exhale. See if you can let go of effort in the neck. And inhale to roll up. Release your feet. With the exhale, lean onto the left hip as you send the right leg back for pigeon other side. You choose to drop right into where you're headed or to experiment, to explore a little. Maybe to reach that leg back or take a twist to your left. Perhaps to lift even higher, almost as if you were coming out of the pose just to let the exhalation take you deeper in. And once in, a gentle sway might escort you even lower. If you've gone too far, just lift up higher. Full inhalation fills every cell of you. With the exhale, see if you can melt a little further onto your mat. One more breath in. With the exhale, plant the palms. Inhale as you peel up. With the exhale, lean to the left. Sweep the right leg forward straight this time. As you inhale, you use both hands to point the left knee toward the sky, firm grip on the shin. With the exhale, use that grip to gently lower yourself all the way onto your back. As the head meets the mat, squeeze that left knee in toward the left shoulder, Pawan Muktasana. With an inhale, pause or take a circle with that left knee. With the exhale, twist. Right hand guides the left knee over to the right. Right shoulder likely scoots to the right. With the left hand, you might press down upon your own sacrum, the heel of the hand sliding down so that you could lengthen your own spine. Breathe in. And out. And with another inhalation, roll onto your back. Exhaling, left foot drops to the floor. Heel slides out to meet right. And as you exhale, hands squeeze the right knee in toward the right shoulder. 
with an inhale, a circle if it feels nice to the hip, to the lower back. And with an exhale, cruise into your twist. Snuggle the shoulders in to where they need to be so the heart can shine up. The right hand might come to the lower back for a little massage. Maybe the eyes flutter closed for one more round of breath. And an inhale brings you to your back. And you decide with the exhale whether to straighten the right leg out alongside left or bend the left knee to match right for your final rest. Either position, legs bent or straight, you might gently wiggle the hips a little closer to the heels. And with an inhalation, reach up so you can see the hands in the sky above you. With an exhale, a little action like you're climbing a rope, lifting one shoulder at a time to open up some space between them. As you inhale, gently lower the palms to the chest or the arms to the sides for Shavasana. Feel free to turn the head right to left. Take any further adjustments. As you flutter the eyes closed, draw an inhalation. Straight into the heart. Feel it expand past the lungs through the rib cage to the outermost layers of you. Open up your mouth. Sigh the exhale away. Feel the back of the skull sink a little lower. The neck fully release, shoulders melt. Inhale seems to shine from the chest into the solar plexus, the center of you. Your parted lips flutter the exhale away, releasing the whole center of the spine. The awareness slides down to the sacrum. From there, the inhale rolls up into the pelvis. The hips loosen. With the lips gently closed, the exhale flows through the nose, relieving any lingering tension from the thighs, past the knees, through the calves, all the way out the toes. Begin to wiggle your toes. And slowly, slowly, draw the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around them. Squeeze. Gentle sway side to side. And rock all the way onto your right side. Extend the right arm up for the head to rest upon. Drape the left hand over you to the mat. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lean a little pressure, a little weight into that left palm in front of the heart. With an inhale, feel the earth press back. Lift yourself up into the seated position where you began. Okay. 
maybe a sway, and a roll of the head to the right and the left. Flip your palms to face up. Thumb and forefinger unite in chin mudra, signifying that we're prepared to receive. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to receive, consider setting an intention or making a wish right here, right now. With an inhalation, bring the left hand to the heart. What's the nurturing side? As you exhale, the right hand covers it with strength. And to uniting, encourage, dedication to your intention or your goal. With an inhalation, the heart expands into the palms. As you exhale, the extension of the heart chakra presses back. Laka samasta suki no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. We'll lift the hands from the heart to the head. Namaste.